Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry for my long absence, but I was on vacation for a few weeks, and last week I was too busy to do anything. Um, but I am back now, and today, or tonight I should say, I'm doing something very special for you guys. I'm really excited to do this video. Um, for a while now, many of you have been asking me to do an updated G.I. Joe video collection. So here it is. After months of requesting it, it is finally here. Uh, the last one I did was almost two years ago, and uh, I did a head count. I have just about 70 G.I. Joes, uh, 68 in total, uh, so that's a whole lot. I've gotten around 20 new ones since last time. Um, I think in my first collection video I had 49 at the time, so I've gotten a lot since then. And uh, yeah, enough of me talking. Let's get started with this video. Really excited about this. It took me a long time to get all these guys set up. Uh, but let me get down on the ground here. And I'm going to start out with my Vietnam figures. Uh, I just did a video on these guys. So if you've watched that video, well, here they are again. I'll just go over each figure briefly. Let you get a brief look at them. So the first one here is the Jungle Tunnel Rat. And this guy, of course, is really, really cool. You know I love him. He's really cool. There he is. Next up is Roy Benavidez. Very nice figure. Got the Vietnam door gunner. All right, the Vietnam combat engineer. Really nice figure there. The Green Beret figure. This guy's really cool. Definitely a favorite of mine. Okay, so those are my Vietnam figures. Don't have too many of them, uh, but they're all very cool. Next up, we're coming to more modern day figures. Uh, the first one here is the Army Saws Gunner. And this guy's very nice. Okay, next is the Honor Guard, and this guy, in my opinion, is just a beautiful figure. I've always liked this one a lot, and he displays really nicely. Very nice uniform. Overall, great figure. Okay, the next four are the Army Rangers. I tried to get most of these figures in their respective collections. Uh, so the first one is the Tank Buster. Very nice figure, of course. Next is the Long Range Sniper. And this guy is one of my favorites. Really, really nice figure. Just uh, have to show the back of him here. I just love the way that looks. Really cool. That camouflaging. Okay, next up is the Midnight Mission figure. And this one is also one of my favorites. There's his gun on his tripod. Uh, tripod. Very nice. Okay, next up is the Desert Recon. And this guy is really cool as well. Love that rifle he's got. It looks fantastic. Okay, so that's the first row. Let's move on to the second row now. Try to get in here as best as possible. Um, first one here, part of the SOF collection. We have the 10th Mountain Division figure. Super rare figure and very, very cool. Definitely a favorite. Looks very nice. All right. Uh, this is the Air Force Special Forces figure, and this one is also very nice, very unique. Love that uniform. Looks great. Okay, uh, this is the Mountain Search figure. Very cool. The Battalion Mortar Marine, another favorite of mine. Really like the uniform. 
as well as that head sculpt. It's really cool. Okay, another favorite, uh, the Desert Marine. Super rare figure. And uh, yeah, it just looks very cool. And another favorite of mine. Uh, this is the Force Recon Marine. And that is an awesome figure there, guys. His uniform is super, super cool. Okay, next up, the MSPF Marine. And that is a beautiful figure. Looks fantastic. And sorry, the lighting's a little dark. Uh, if I didn't say it already, I am filming this at night. Uh, because I couldn't find any other time to do it. So I'll try my very hardest to get the best possible lighting here. Um, but next up is a very unique G.I. Joe. This is the, I think, the Advanced Weapons Tester. And this is a very, very cool figure. Really, really nice gun he's got there. Very unique. Okay, next up. This is a pretty hard to find figure. Uh, I think it's the K9 Military Patrol figure. And uh, this one's very nice as well. Don't see this one a lot. He's pretty hard to find, so... Uh, but he looks really nice and does have a cool dog. Okay, next up is the Mont Marine. Also a very nice looking figure. And this one is the Weapons Instructor, I believe. Sorry if I get some of these names wrong. There's a lot of figures here, and I don't have the boxes out, so I'm doing all this by memory, actually. <laughs> uh, but I think this is a weapon instructor, and that's a pretty cool figure, I think. Looks good. Okay, so before I get into my police figures um, and law enforcement figures, let's go in the back here to the third row. Um... Over here, we have the Rapid Strike Commando figure, and that guy's really cool. One of the newer ones. Uh, got the Gulf War figure. And this guy is a custom made G.I. Joe figure that I bought a few years ago. And a really, really nice figure. Um, I forget who I bought it from, but he just looks great. Got a really cool head sculpt on there too. Okay, next up is the Marine Paratrooper. Very nice figure. I uh, believe this one's the Advanced Grenadier. I think I got that right. Um, but I got his grenade gun here. Very cool. Okay, coming up on the Navy SEAL figures. Uh, the first one is the Navy SEAL Shore Security figure. There's a favorite of mine. That one looks great. Okay, we got the Rapid Rapple figure. Also a beautiful figure. Okay, the uh, Paradiver. Very cool. You can see his parachute in the back. Okay, and this one is another personal favorite of mine. Uh, this is the... Um, wow, I'm blanking on the name on this one. <laughs> Sorry, I forget this guy's name. Even though he is one of my favorites, I assure you. He's really, really cool though. Um, I love his scuba outfit. Very cool. Okay, next up, some more from the SOF collection. Uh, oh, I just remembered it. Uh, beach Landing. Okay, anyway. Uh, next up is the Royal Marine Commando. Very cool figure. Got the Tactical Advisor. Another really, I think, unique looking figure. Very nice. 
And over here we have the forward air control figure. Very cool as well. Alright guys, so that concludes all of my modern day Army, Marines, uh, Navy figures. Next up I'm going to be showing you my police and law enforcement figures over there. Uh, but before I do that, it's a little dark over there, so I'm just going to set up my lamp, and I will be back in a second. Okay, so I have my lamp set up over here, so the lighting should be better. Uh, but here we go with the police and law enforcement figures. The first one I'll show you is the U.S. Coast Guard uh, Harbor Security figure. A pretty hard-to-find one, and I got this one a few months ago. And... Uh, this guy's really cool. I have him set up here with his his uh, big gun here, and that looks really, really good. Displays really nicely. Okay, the next up um, is the diplomatic uh, secret service agent. I think I got the name right on that one. At least I hope so. Uh, but this guy's pretty cool. He's a little bit older. But it looks very nice. And the next one is the State Trooper figure. And this one is definitely one of my all-time favorite G.I. Joes. Uh, I just think Hasbro did such a good job with this figure. Uh, the uniform is beautiful. Uh, just everything about this figure is really, really nice. I also really like the head sculpt. So definitely a favorite. Really, really nice. Okay, next up is the SWAT team grenade launcher figure. Another really cool one and also very hard to find figure. Uh, but he's very nice. I really like that gas mask and also the camo pants he's got on. Very cool looking. Next up is the SWAT team sniper. And that's a very cool looking figure. Okay, next up, another all-time favorite figure, and once again, I think Hasbro did a fantastic job on this one. This is the SWAT Team Silent Entry figure, and this guy is just loaded with accessories. I mean, he's got that big shield, he's got a crossbow, he's got arrows, uh, really, comes with just a bunch of stuff, and he looks fantastic. So, I think Hasbro did a really good job with that one. Okay, moving in the back, um, I realized I did forget one Navy figure. Uh, this one in the back is the Navy Special Ops figure, uh, and he's pretty cool. I got him not too long ago, as well as the uh, Police K-9 unit figure. got him not too long ago, and he's really cool too. Got his dog down here. And got another figure with a dog, an identical dog actually. Um, I don't quite remember the name of this one. It's another K9 uh, GI Joe figure. I think it might be K9 Trainer, uh, but he's pretty cool. And last one here is the FBI Rescue uh, Rescue Mission figure, I think, and he's pretty cool. And the last modern figure that I have is one of the foreign uh, G.I. Joe figures. This is the Israeli one, and he looks pretty good. I like that head sculpt a lot. Okay, so the rest of the figures are from World War II, uh, the Korean War, and World War I. So let's get started with those, and then the video will be over. So the first one here is another one from the foreign... Uh, soldiers collection. Uh, this is a German Panzer tank uh, commander, I think. And over here is a Japanese officer. Both of them are pretty cool. Um, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the foreign uh, soldiers collection. I think these guys look better in their boxes, actually. Uh, there's, I just think Hasbro went a little cheap with these guys. Their hands aren't that great, and uh, just overall, their uniforms aren't that realistic. 
just a personal opinion of mine. So I kind of wish I kept these guys in their boxes a little bit. I think they look better in their boxes. Okay. Uh, so moving on in the back over there, we have the Marine Raider figure, and he's really cool. That's my very first GI Joe figure, actually. Um, if you didn't know that already, and uh, so this guy has a lot of special meaning for me. He's a really cool one. Okay. Next up, uh, the Hawaiian Territorial Guard figure. Very cool. My newest G.I. Joe figure. We got the uh, Pearl Harbor Wheeler pilot. Okay, another Pearl Harbor figure. That's the Battleship Row gunner. He's got this massive gun here. I'll just show you a little bit. Really huge. But very cool. Okay, we got John F. Kennedy figure. We have Francis Pierce, the Medal of Honor recipient. Uh, that's a favorite of mine. Really cool figure. Okay, we got Ernie Pyle. Very nice. I love all of his little accessories he's got. We have a Korean War figure. This is a uh, Marine Scout Marksman, and that's a nice figure. I love his snow outfit and his sniper rifle. Looks very nice. Also, I really like that head sculpt. It's a really nice one. Okay, another favorite of mine. Uh, this is a great figure. This is a Medal of Honor recipient, uh, Audie, Audie Murphy. And this guy's really cool. Let me take him out here because I really love this one. Uh, just a fantastic figure. Great detail. And he's got this huge gun down here that he comes with. Okay, over here we have some Millennium uh, figures. I only have two of them. Uh, but this one's from the Korean War. It's got this nice stand that he comes with. It's pretty cool. Once again, these guys are kind of similar to the Foreign Soldiers Collection. Their hands aren't that great. Uh, the quality just isn't as great with the hands. So it's kind of a letdown for me, but I mean, they're still pretty cool. Uh, the one over here is a World War II staff sergeant. And this one's, I like this one a lot. I think he's really cool. And I like those stands that they come with. I think that looks good. All right, moving up. Uh, got the World War One Doughboy. And this is definitely an all-time favorite for me. A really fantastic figure. Hasbro did a great job with this guy. Looks really good. And he comes with machine gun as well. Okay, another great figure and a super hard one to find and very expensive one. We got John R. Fox, Medal of Honor recipient. And this is a beautiful figure. One that I was after for a very long time. So very happy to have this guy. And he looks great. Okay, another awesome figure. Yeah, the Normandy Pathfinder, and this guy is also very, very nice. Uh, especially the detail on this guy is just great. Definitely a favorite. Okay, next up is the Devil's Brigade figure. Once again, a beautiful figure. These guys are part of the Liberators collection, and... Uh, for me, that's one of my favorite collections. Got some really beautiful figures. And this guy's one of them. He looks great. Okay, next up is Jimmy Doolittle. Also, very realistic figure. Love that leather jacket. And the head sculpt is also really good on him. Okay, we've got some more figures from the D-Day collection. we got the... Uh, Marine, British Marine Commando, or Royal Marine Commando, my bad. Looks very nice. Have the Omaha Beach Landing figure, and that's a favorite of mine. Looks very nice as well. 
Okay, guys, and got a few more here. Uh, this one here is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite, G.I. Joe figure that I own. We have the Point Du Hawk Army Ranger figure, and as you know, I love this figure. It just looks great. Great details, comes with so much stuff. Love the head sculpt. I uh, really just love everything about this figure. And here's his grappling equipment down here. Great figure. Next up is the Pacific Marine. Very nice as well. There's his machine gun. And last but certainly not least is General Douglas MacArthur. So there he is with his desk and his flag. Also a very cool figure. Okay guys, so that's it. That is all of my G.I. Joes that I currently own. And uh, I love each one of these figures. They are super, super cool. I'm so glad I started collecting them. I think it's been over six years now, so it's been a little while. And I have zero regrets. So thanks so much, guys, for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It was super fun getting this all ready. Um, I will hopefully have more videos soon. Um, I don't have any figures on the way right now, but hopefully soon I'll get some more Dragon and G.I. Joe figures. So thanks again for watching, guys. really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you in the next video.